Today, you're gonna learn something about some basic 101 gin cocktails. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and I wanna look at six gin cocktails that you should be making at home if you've just bought your first bottle of gin, be that more of a London dry or an American dry. These are the cocktails that you probably wanna take a look at. First thing to note, most gin cocktails, in general, gin is a very aromatic spirit. Not all of them are full on juniper heavy, Christmas tree, pine salt on your face. Uh, some have a little bit more citrus notes, but the key attribute to a good gin is the aroma and, and the botanical flavor. And if you watch any of our past videos, you'll know that aroma plays a huge part in the taste of a cocktail over just pure taste buds. So to get yourself prepared for this, you're probably gonna want some tonics, some club sodas for your sparkling sides, and then a little pile of citrus, and maybe a bottle of vermouth. The first cocktail to take a look at, the gin and tonic. The gin and tonic has many different ratios and recipes. Anything from a gin to tonic ratio of one to one, one to two, one to three, two to three. I look more at the one to two, one to three, kind of right in the middle. Two ounces of gin, four to five ounces of tonic water, two lime wedges. One suggestion is squeeze one of your slices of lime right after you place in your gin. And the second one, after you've put in the tonic. And that gives you a little bit more of that citrus flavor we're talking about. There's a lot of discussion and tasting differences between uh, styles of tonic from the Schweppes to more of the, the Fever Tree and the Q tonics. Look for an upcoming episode really deconstructing the gin and tonic. The second recipe you want to go with more than likely to kind of experiment with your gin is the John Collins. This is different than Tom Collins. A Tom Collins uses old Tom gin. Just change to a John and you can use one of these, you're good to go. The John Collins is an ounce and a half of London dry gin, so it usually calls for something in this direction. A half ounce of simple syrup to kind of sweeten it up, a full ounce of lemon juice, and two ounces of club soda. Don't top your drink with club soda, use measures. It's going to give you an appropriate ratio. Throw that in a nice tall Collins glass. The next cocktail to look at is your dry gin martini, the way the martini is supposed to be. There's a couple of different recipes for this. So one is two and a half ounces of gin, a half ounce of vermouth. Uh, if you want to, you can add a half ounce of olive brine to create yourself a dirty martini. You can also go with two ounces of gin to one ounce of dry vermouth. And that gives you more of that perfect dry martini. If you want to take it to the next level, add in a dash of orange bitters. Again, citrus focused. If you're looking at bitters, look for bitters that are citrus and flavorful, grapefruits, oranges. Uh, other things that make citrus. Lemon bitters, lime bitters, you know. Lesson of the day, an extra dry gin martini uses less dry vermouth than you would assume. So if you did like a dry vermouth rinse or like a quarter ounce or a little teaspoon or something, less vermouth than in a normal martini, that's what makes it extra dry. This London Dry series is dry. It's got it in the name. So actually to make the drier the martini is to use less dry vermouth. It's weird, I know, but that's facts. Next up, a great historical cocktail from 1919 or beyond, I think this was created at the Savoy uh, Cocktail Bar, is the White Lady, which is two ounces of gin, a half ounce of orange liqueur, a half ounce of lemon juice, and an egg white. So now we bring in a little bit of orange liqueur. Again, think citrus. You'll also see no other sugars in here, yet the orange liqueur sweetness plays against that sour. But in the end, it's a sour cocktail. For more on the sweet side, you go to the Clover Club. The Clover Club is an ounce and a half of lemon dry gin. You can use this if this is what you have. A half ounce of lemon juice, a half ounce of raspberry simple syrup. You can either go to awesomedrinks.com and buy Royal Rose raspberry simple syrup or make your own. You muddle up some raspberries, one part of those, one part water, two parts sugar. Boom, you've got yourself a raspberry simple syrup. One egg white, then you take three raspberries, spear them up, throw them on there. You got yourself a cocktail. And the sixth cocktail you should probably learn how to make is what's known as the Ramos Gin Fizz. You don't have to get as crazy with the shake as you do with what like we've done and you see at bars where they shake for eight, 10 minutes. Shake until your arms hurt. <laughs> One tablespoon of powdered sugar, confectioner's sugar. You should be able to find that in any store. Baking aisle usually. Half ounce of lime juice, citrus. Half ounce of lemon juice. One and a half ounces of either gin or old Tom gin. I think the original recipe was Old Tom, but you know what? The standard for gin is what most people use anyway, so go with gin. Three to four drops of orange flower water, orange blossom water, anything in that area is, looks like this. You could usually get it. It's probably, I don't know, six bucks at least, I think, around that on awesomedrinks.com or find it in, anywhere else. This is Fee Brothers. If you find other brands, you can use those. It's, it's basically a, a, an aromatic orange uh, water. If you don't have that, don't worry. Make the drink anyway. Maybe add a little zest of an orange on the top. 
to give you something to work with that has that citrus orange flavor. One whole egg white, one ounce of cream, one ounce of seltzer water. You shake it up, it's gonna be awesome. You can check out our channel and find our creation of the Ramos Gin Fizz. By creating these six cocktails, not only are you gonna to touch on some great aromatic design cocktails that don't require a ton of ingredients, but you'll have hit a lot of the big, historically accurate cocktails that have kind of built the industry where it is today. I don't care if you're at a big bar, I don't care if you're in a bar in your basement, or if you're in college. These are cocktails that you should definitely try. We're teaching you how to drink. If you take a cranberry juice cocktail and you add, again, one and a half ounces of vodka, four and a half ounces of cranberry juice cocktail, like Ocean Spray, you create what is known as the cake.